Hey guys, Nate Hale here with the Rapscallion Brigade. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of Castlevania on the opening stages. I love all the Castlevania games and I, I really got into the Netflix series that just finished up. I can't wait for season two of that. By the way, we have a little bit of a surprise today. We're going to compare the original Castlevania to this version that was remade in the Unreal Engine. The developer is a person by the name of Deja Wolf. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. He actually received a cease and desist from Konami last year, uh, but has actually been allowed to keep the files up. And uh, says he even hopes to get a, an official license eventually. So who knows if that's possible, but at least we have some of the game playable right now. And uh, I'll put a download link in the description. But uh, one of the things about this, I mean, yeah, it looks, it looks amazing. Um, I wish it was a little more fluid. It's not quite as fluid. The gameplay, the controls are not quite as fluid as the original. Of course, that has a lot to do with the technology here but it looks it looks amazing the controls are a little a little sluggish and I guess that's to be expected with what all's going on here but the the lighting and the textures and the thing is if he could get an official license and really put some full-time work into it, I'm sure this per this person would probably be able to fix the fluidity of the controls. It was neat to play these side by side and see like just how meticulous he was in recreating the levels. Just one of the differences besides the obviously updated look is uh, the objects that you have in the foreground. So you have this not only completely 3D rendered character models and stages, but it, it has a depth of field to it because of the things in the foreground and how far the background reaches. He also managed to include one of the most annoying things about Castlevania, which is when you get hit by an enemy and you get knocked back, a lot of times it causes you to fall into the water. The whip in the remake has a few extra lashes every time you push the button, and that's a little bit different than the original, so it takes a little getting used to. I always fall down right there. I, I can never remember to push the right direction on the D-pad to go down the steps. There you get a sense of the, the difference in the music as well. I really like the updated music. It was neat going back and forth how it, it all just kind of blends together. Such a good looking game. The bat's a little more creepy in the remake, too. So yeah, go and download it from Deja Wolf. I'll include the link in the in the description. And uh, it's an easy download, not a very big file. It works right out of the box. It's the Xbox 360 controller is already configured, so you just uh, download, install, and play. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video.